Hello YouTube, yesterday I was washing, washing my car uh, and uh, so probably, I don't know, something happens or maybe some water is got inside the button so it didn't close the door so the, this is the next day and now so it's functioning but the problem is not that uh, so what I decided to do, I didn't lock the car, I closed my door and uh, I just decided to uh, remove the negative uh, side from the battery to avoid the corrosion in case uh, if water is there because it's constantly uh, providing the current through this uh, door handle and if there is the water there is more chance you'll get corrosion but uh, in the same day I didn't tout I just uh, pull my handle but I forgot the battery was disconnected so the door uh, the window lifting mechanism is uh, uh, didn't pop down and I just basically uh, like pull it out and then I didn't uh, recognize it and later I just closed the door and as you can see there is a uh, small like uh, scratch but this was before me uh, and uh, the next day so after I decide the button is dry so I put my negative uh, side of the battery and I test the uh, door button uh, and it's working which is positive but the other side as we can see now if I'll open it and uh, I'll close it my uh, windows uh, mechanism is not working the same thing here here I didn't touch anything uh, well the first time I pull my handle so it goes down so as you can see now it gets down even more so probably uh, i need to calibrate it so i don't know because you see every time after i do that so it's doing like that okay let's try this one yeah somehow the calibration for the windows is is gone so i don't know i hook up my eccentric and I'll pull the error codes and I'll take a look if I can do something with that or I need to bring it to the dealer to calibrate it or if I'll not found any issues related to the uh, windows I'll probably need to calibrate it uh, I have probably have to go inside and manually uh, put it up and hold probably that might be the case Yeah, I'm going to clear it and I put the F9 okay, after I raise the roars uh, so this result we have uh, on some uh, you can see the, the sign that because the car is not running and the uh, program is uh, reading not all modules okay but generally a lot of errors is gone and I hope I'm gonna be able to calibrate my car window okay i'll just briefly will jump into every false okay this f pneumatic pump doesn't uh, for dynamic seats yeah i know there is a i had the problem this door control module left right that's because i uh, put the not standard mirrors and the previous mirrors they has additional lamp and right now electronic just uh, kind of uh, don't see the current going through the connector that's why okay what next uh, till eight yeah this this fault was before okay what else system diagnosis yeah it's sometimes also F uh, no it's not sometimes it's always F because I don't have the dealer level scanner I have only open port Tactrix uh, device. Okay, what else? And specified actual configuration on interior CAN bus. I believe this is something new. I never have that before. Okay, let's jump into it. Uh, okay, let's go there. Let's see.
That's the can. This is the main kind of in car internet, which has communicate all modules. So I don't know, maybe some errors I've got because I disconnect the battery for about uh, for the night. That might be a case. Yeah, this car is a, it's a computer. You cannot live uh, without uh, something new happens. Okay, something related to the air bag and show valve. So what is going on? Okay, I don't understand anything. Uh, let's just start. So I don't want to start anything. But I don't know what is can be. Okay, so I'll disconnect my Accenture, I'll start the car, I'll, I'll try to calibrate the window, so I'll go inside the car and uh, we'll try to play with the regulators, we'll see if that is working. So I already reset the, this window, now I'm doing next. Basically, I put it in the first position and then wait for 10 seconds and then put it down. Not automatic, just first position. Don't push it harder to the second. Okay, this one is down. Okay, now I can push it. Two clicks and it should go up. Now I will continue on the passenger side. Okay, I'll just put it up. Okay, there was a click on the door and I waited. For 10 seconds, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay, then I put it down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so now I can put all the way up. Okay, and the very last two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, the moment of the true, when I pull this handle, this door, I mean, the glass should go down. Yes, 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 I fixed it. And another positive information for me. I'll put the key out. Another positive that after two, uh, like 10 hours, see my button is start working again. Yes, yes, yeah. Because I spent, uh, if you watch my videos, I put a lot to replace this door handle. So in the next time, guys, I, I'll tell you, when you wash the car, please put some tape around or something even um, here because there is a rubber and if there is a gap the water can go inside so the next time i will wash this car uh, even i was washing very gently so very gently i will close all four uh, door handles so i don't know why people don't say that in I never seen the video when people say do that so but it's really the key so the next episode is gonna be when i'll got the controller which is uh, going right now i'm gonna install uh, this uh, amg steering wheel in the car so and i will film how i will do that so i'll probably do that tomorrow uh, and in that case I also need to disconnect the battery again and uh, before I'll do that 
I need to uh, switch my steering wheel uh, 45 degrees because to unscrew it, it will give me uh, more room in this space and space under. I'm gonna be easier, gonna able to do that. And by the way, uh, let's uh, uh, do some. So where is the key? Where is the key? I lost the key. Here is my key. Also, I need to relearn the roof. Okay, I'll put the ignition on. And uh, let's open the roof. You see, it doesn't go. You need to press it and press it. And slowly, by surely, it will go down. When it will go down, it's not going anymore down. You need to hold and wait for 10 seconds. Okay, holding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now the same situation going, I'll just push it. Okay, now it's going better. Okay, waiting for 10 seconds. Okay, then I need to move it this down and hold one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now I can release it and it should go automatic. Okay. Okay, done. The calibration for the sunroof is reset also. Okay, so I twist my steering wheel in this position and as you can see right now I have the, the better axis. The same thing under, so I have the better axis. So I've seen that in one video, this advice. Okay, so far uh, there is no error messages So and uh, Parktronic is working, everything is working, even my door. Glass regulator is working and my door handle is working. Uh, I cannot be more than happy in this Saturday morning because I was thinking about it all the last evening. And uh, if you are uh, in cars, like I would say, not say crazy, but if you are perfectionist, you know how the small things can drive you nuts okay so i need to so a little bit pull, pull it forward because i have pull it because i have pulled it back to not to go exhaust inside my garage okay okay let's take a look usually how i do i open the door and i should go yeah below that F signed about two inches. Okay, now I can twist my steering wheel in a position which I'm gonna replace and uh, put it in the park and shut off the car. Okay, and by the way, uh, this is the uh, device I'm using. So I put just the tape because it's not really holding the connector and uh, but I can put the link for this device cost about like $15 yeah no it doesn't allow you to uh, program the car but you can do the basic functions with using the Xentry uh, because this will gonna allow you do the uh, code readings uh, code reset not all the codes not all modules but something and by the way I forgot to mention uh, I will uh, I have put to my windows down 
because when I'm gonna work, I want to fully open the door. Because with the windows, it's not possible because I have that uh, wood stud or bar. And this side will just give me some air. So while I'm gonna be working here. Why it's not working anymore? It was working. Whew. Yeah, I've got scared <laughs> because it stopped working again. And then later I realized there's probably the key inside. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, there is a key inside. Oh man. So this car is, this car is, is a good car and this beautiful car and you can forgive this car anything when you're driving it okay again yeah so, so i'm gonna dance but i will not show it to you okay sounds good sounds good okay now let's put the trunk close the trunk and let's take a look at this beauty so what a nice car Okay, so my steering wheel is uh, ready uh, for the installation uh, and uh, so my door handle is working and everything is working at this moment and I wish it gonna be like that. Okay, next time we're gonna replace this uh, beautiful uh, steering wheel. We will save it, keep it uh, in the box uh, and uh, we're gonna install that one okay thank you for watching and have a good day